Hi, this is Alice Bull from scrapbookwonderland.com and the Scrap Happy Membership Group. I'm here at the Great Canadian Scrapbook Ex Carnival and in Edmonton, Alberta, and I'm here with Eileen Hull, and she is going to do a make and take. Hi, Eileen. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? And I'd love to. My name's Eileen Hull. I'm from Virginia, and I came up to uh, demo in the booth here at Scrapbooking Fairies. I'll be teaching in May, so I'm excited to come back again. Uh, I design dies for Sizzix, and I have inks with clear snap, so I like to show people how to use them. So we're going to make a little um, credit card sleeve. Uh, this is one of my latest dies that came out, and it's designed to work in the wrap journal, which is a scoreboard die, and that's a whole different thing. But we're gonna, we're going to make this uh, what's going to look like this. So it's a little pocket. It can hold tags, and and uh, we've got these little words. So uh, we're just kind of putting that together right now. So pardon me if we don't have all our pieces out, but um, we're going to be using our Sizzix Big Shot machine. This is the Big Shot Plus, so this is a little larger than what we would usually use. Uh, all of these will fit in the Big Shot, and that's what I design mostly for because that's what most people have. So this is the die. I've already cut these, so what I did was I took the, this um, journaling card and I put this little piece in here. I taped it in with washi tape and this is like a little secret journaling spot. I did not cut that out of that one because we had cut a hundred of them and it's like ah let's just do the one. <laughs> Give the idea. So what we did was we also cut another journaling card. This is a little bit bigger out of another die that I have and um, we cut that as the background for the, the little slot here. And then we took another die that I have and we die cut these little flowers and inked them. And then this tag is also part, it's that one right there. So I have already cut these pieces, so we're just going to put those together. So what we're going to be doing, the first thing that you can do is just adhere that piece to that. And you can use this tape. I like to use the eighth inch. This is ThermoWeb tape. And what you're going to do is just put that on the back and just go like from here here down and around but don't do the top because that can be like a little hidden tuck spot on the top of the card right here see so you can tuck something back in there too. so after we do that then we're going to take some of our little flowers now i like to save these here's some other ideas of things that you can do with these journaling cards um, what I did here was I cut one out and I put some washi tape on it and then when you punch these out you're going to get little flowers that have, right, these are obviously in here because I die cut something that's too thick and it didn't pop out. But you're going to get these little, um, little shapes and you can use these for stencils or you can put these on a card too. You know, that would be cute. So I save all of the parts because you never know where you're going to need them. So that's one in there. Here are some flowers, so if you guys want to take them, oh here's one that popped out, so that came out of the washi tape thing. So some of them are colored and some of them are not, but if you want to use these, um, these are my color box blends inks from Clear Snap, and the way they work is uh, they're an anchor applicator and re-anchor all in one. There's 16 uh, colors and there's 10 times as much ink as there is in a stamp pad so you can use these in a lot of different ways but if you want to color a flower what you can do is just pick one and I just lay it down and you take your cap off and you can just color this and you can make it as light or dark as you like you might want to let this sit for a minute because it's a little wet because I put a lot of ink on there but that's how you can get your colors you can stack them like we did on the sample. Where is the sample? So what kind of ink is that? That is a pigment ink. Yeah, a crafter's ink, so it, it does stay wet. The good thing is it's, they're called blends because they can blend the colors together because they do stay wet a little bit longer. So on here, you can just use them on the outside of the, the um, leaves or, or wherever you want. So, and then I like to kind of stack these and sometimes I give them dimension by just kind of peeling them up a little bit. This I think got flattened in the uh, <laughs> transit. So you can make these three dimensional. They're nice on cards though, because if you send them, it's easy to kind of 
fluff them up when you get them, but they lay flat for mailing. So that looks great. Okay, so when I cut it, I have this little slot. That means I also have, and I can't believe I saved these and we were gonna get rid of them, but um, these little pieces here that you cut out, you can take and just kind of lay under there if you want, or you know, you can ink them, whatever you like. All right, the table is starting to look normal now. We have a big mess. This is good. <laughs> and what else do we have in here? These are extras. So you guys doing okay? Do you have any questions? No, I'm just excited. How long have you been designing? Well, I've been with Sizzix for about 10 years, believe it or not. And um, I can't believe I just keep having ideas and they keep letting me do it. So I'm really happy. I also have a little trailer that I travel around the country in. And it's um, this little trailer. <laughs> I call it the paper trail. And I've gone now 59,000 miles in my little trailer. I, I started five years ago. And um, so I went to the scrapbooking carnival last year, but I went to the Calgary one. So I was so excited to come to this one too and see see my friends because I was dubbed an honorary Canadian when I went and I got the flag and everything all in the back of the trailer so uh, yeah I'm, I'm really lucky that I get to do what I like to do and and also have the community of the crafters we have um, a group called at the Eileen Hall fan club um, we just went over 3,000 members and we have people from all over the world I do Facebook Lives on Tuesday at 6 Eastern and Thursday at 4 Eastern. And we always do a project using the dyes, using the inks, and uh, in case people have questions or, or they just want to know more or they have an idea, they want to see if it'll work, I am happy to do it because, you know, when you buy a dye and it looks like this, it never comes out like this and you want to know how to do it. So um, especially the scoreboard dyes, those are a little harder for people to imagine how to put together. So they do require a little education and I'm happy to do it. Um, here are some samples. These are all made by my inspiration team. I have 16 members all over the world and they, I, <laughs> people can't believe when I say this, but I, when I design a die, I get back samples. So I cut a whole bunch of samples, I put them in a box and I send it to them. I don't say this piece goes to that or what. They just make stuff. And they make stuff that I would never have thought of. So it just helps to have um, a wonderful team behind me. So I just love them. <laughs> so, but it's also great to see what what a lot of just plain old crafters make because they're you know not everybody is is thinking like that or has the stuff. So. Me, I'm more of a, I have four children, so I was always in a rush to get stuff done. So I'm more of a like, let's make it and, and be on our way. <laughs> so there's something for everybody. So these are looking good. Can we have these again? To yes, get a uh, they're right here, sorry. Yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, so these are just some of the things that you can make, but they're really designed to work in the book. So these flowers here, these are also, these are cut out of um, crinoline and colored. In fact, we just did one down here. We're waiting for it to dry because it takes a little bit, but we've just inked it. We put a whole bunch of ink in there and we just dipped it in and then we cut and you get these real pretty little 3D flowers. And there's also this um, a set of words that you can use on the front. This is from a a different die than the journal but I design the dies so that they all work together and I usually try to have three different ways that you can use it because they're expensive and you want to get your value out of it so this one is a traveler's notebook style and these are just some of the little cards you know a lot of people like to make cards and have them on hand or little gift cards so these are just little things this is that credit card sleeve that we're making right now and there's some pieces that we didn't use like this little tab and you know but that's basically how it works and that's some fabric that I cut so that's the other thing that I like about the Sizzix dies that you can cut them out of just so many different materials especially the steel roll dies because they're thick and sturdy and and that's just where my heart is but I like the little ones too Thank you. <laughs>
Can you show us like how your dies kind of fit together, like the hearts or something like that, and how you can turn your dies into stamps and some of the fun ways that people might not think to use a die? Well, like I said, I like to extend the uses of what you can do with this stuff. So I went a little crazy one day and I started cutting all my dies out of foam. So um, here's one, you know, this is the US. So if you wanted to make a US stamp, you just take some fun foam. I use double-sided adhesive. I put it on the back of the foam, and then I die cut it. So here's one. Uh, this is this is that little heart one that you can see here. So thank you guys. <laughs> so what I did was the same thing. I used it to make stamps. So now I have two, and I actually used the die packaging that the dies come in. You know, it's that kind of thick um, acrylic. And so I, I think that's a good way to use it too. Let's make stamps out of it. Well, and so you managed to make two stamps two just stamps using that die one time. Yeah, what I did was when I had the double-sided adhesive, I peeled, I left them in place and I peeled off all the little hearts. It was a little tedious, but I, I took them off. And then when I put my plastic on, it only stuck to the hearts and this piece stayed. Then I took the adhesive off that and I put my paper, you know, plastic on and so I had the two but because they work together you know then you can store them like that and you don't lose them. These are the scoreboard dies. Um, these are some of the things that you can die cut with them. Some of the things that you can do with them. This one I inked and I uh, embossed. So this is matte board. This is stuff that you would like mat your photos and pictures with. It's thick. It's up to a sixteenth of an inch. And you have to use these with your steel rule dies. They will not work with the thin you know Thin, thin way for thin. Thank you. <laughs> so this is just, this is the new wrap journal and I embossed it. This is beautiful. You could do this for like a bride's book or for your bridesmaids or something. Um, I started inking it. I didn't finish. That was today. Here's another one. This one I covered with double-sided adhesive like I used over here. Um, I put on a sheet of aluminum and then I put it all together in my machine and I die cut it. So everything comes out perfectly. And when you, you know, get the die, you get all of these score lines built in and all the holes. So you don't have to measure anything. This is, it cuts in one pass. So you just lay it down, put your map board on, you cut it, boom, you're done. So if you have a lot of books that you need to do, that's the one you want. Um, here's one, this is just map board that is doodled. And I have used my Sizzix uh, flower dies that um, oh. came out a couple years ago. Again, I used my die packaging. I die cut one block of flowers, which has four little shapes in it. And I use them as tracers. A lot of people are nervous when they think, I don't know how to doodle. I, I just don't know how to do that. You don't need to. You just need to trace stuff. <laughs> and then you can fill in. It's not as scary. So that's another one. This is a show I did just um, on Tuesday. And I used my blends inks to make marbling on, on the map board. So this would be a beautiful journal. Um, so that's the kind of thing that we do. Did you do that with one of your Facebook Lives? Yes, I did. Yeah, just last. So what, what, um, what's your Facebook? Uh... They would go to Eileen Hold Designs. And what is going to happen, you'll see my feed. I have a lot of stuff that I share. But if you click on the video tab, you can see all of the Facebook Lives I've done, which I think I have over 200 now. So if you have any questions about anything, you can go there and see pretty much how to work any of the dies. Not all of them, because I just haven't gotten to that yet, but I'm sure one day or I will. Um, this one here is another doodled one, but this shows how you can make this shorter just by putting your map board and you know scooting it down. Here's one that we stamped in watercolor. Here's a leather one. This is... Um, a leather one that I dyed with this ink here. So you can, yeah, the leather is, oh. it's killing me. <laughs> is it suede or leather? It is leather. This is oh, veg tan okay. leather. This is the same. Okay. So I cut it and then I dyed it. And you know what? I love the map board. Trust me. I have spent my whole career working with map board, but leather might be the next thing. Are you running out of battery? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. Anyway, thank you. Come to come to Eileen Holt Designs. I will talk forever. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Alice. Oh my gosh, this is so great. There's so many um, possibilities. 
possibilities, so much inspiration. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much. So, thank you so much for showing us some of the potential that you can get out of the dyes with your inks and everything else. This is wonderful. This is Alice Bull at Scrap from ScrapbookWonderland.com and the Scrap Happy Membership Group with Eileen Hull at the Edmonton, oh my gosh, the Great Canadian Scrapbook Carnival. <laughs> I know, I'm like 20 million years. <laughs> okay. Which is good. Oh, <laughs>